So, more troubles in paradise. I was out harrowing. I noticed this tire flopping, and you probably can't see it. But, uh, bearing shot. So I gotta take this tire and hub and everything off. See how bad the shaft is underneath. And see if we can fix it. Oh joy. There's the culprit. It's the front axle off the harrows. And you can see the problem here. Bearing wore out, and I, boy, I don't even know why I didn't catch that sooner. I huh, really should have, you know, but I guess that's my fault, you know. So, I'm going to get a smallish straight screwdriver and a small hammer, and we're going to tap that cap off, and we'll take the nut off the end, the keeper nut. I'm going to see if I can find an appropriate place to put the camera so that you can see what I'm doing. There we go. That'll work. So on a cap like this, I drive that screwdriver in, you know, and you got to work it in there a bit. And you kind of come down and then towards the outside so that you end up pushing that cap off. I think they make a tool or something for this, but I've always found a straight screwdriver works pretty good. I don't like buying special tools unless I absolutely have to. There's some special tools that I've got. For the most part, I just kind of use what we got. And there we go. Oh, oh. And we can see the Apparently, these Harrows, whatever brand they are, were made in Winnipeg. Cool. So, now you can see the castle nut in there. And uh, we just got to unbend this, uh, this cotter key that's in there. And then we should be able to undo that castle nut pretty easy. So, we'll grab a, uh, grab a pliers. Needle nose and uh, regular pliers. Oh, and for everybody that's been asking, this is where the Intrepid motor sits. Still haven't gotten it done, got some work done on it last week, but then a friend of mine was going to help out and uh, torque down the, uh, the cam bolts and busted one off inside there. So now I've got to drill out and... Uh, and uh, use an easy out and trying to get that bolt out without ruining the threads. Otherwise, joy of joys, we'll have to heal coil it. So, let's get this thing straightened up. Oh, you son of a gun. There we go. We're getting somewhere. Cool. Squeeze it together a little more. Left my bike out in the field. I really should go get that. Not my dirt bike either, my street bike. I felt like taking it for a short drive, so I took out it out to the field to get the tractor to, to do some harrowing. And uh, didn't take any videos of harrowing though, because I figure you guys have seen plenty of field work. I don't want to bore anybody to death, make you think I'm getting repetitive. But as you can see here, never a dull moment at the Wick Ranch. Always something going on. Let's get a socket. Yeah, get this. Try these out. Ah, is an inch and an eighth. Oh, and by God, I'm going to be able to undo it by hand. Couldn't get a hold of it good enough, apparently, without the socket. So. 
So there we go. I should just be able to pull that right off. And boy, I don't know if we've got enough bearing surface left there to uh, to put a new bearing in. Now, I guess we can try though. It's uh, best we can do. So let's give her a shot. Let's figure out what bearings we got. I'll have to pull this all apart and try and clean off these and find a number. And uh, then we'll see if we don't have the right bearings sitting around maybe and uh, we'll go from there. So what we got here is we got a Timken LM67048 and uh, an NTN 4TCM 1145, I believe that says. But uh, I'll take those bearings into town tomorrow with the races. But what we got to do for now is we've got to punch these races out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a punch like this, get some of this crud out from the edges there, and we got to just barely catch the edge of that, that race in there. And, uh, oh boy, you can see that it got chewed up a bit when the bearing went out. It uh, looks like just one of the bearings went, you know. You can see the one where the race is missing. This other one looks pretty decent. Which is why I probably didn't notice it until it started really getting, getting war, you know. Well, we'll get some of this crud cleaned out of here. And then... Uh, what we want to do is just like I said, you know, we'll we'll catch just this edge of the bearing if we can. And we'll try and push that out. So, then we gotta flip it over and do the other side. So we'll give it a shot. And there we go. We got both of them races out. You can see where the smaller bearing sat. We'll loosen up this vise a little bit. And you can see where the bigger bearing and the seal rode. Now the trouble we're going to have, however, yeah, let me chuck this up. Now the trouble we're going to have is that I have no clue what this seal is. So I will show you how to figure that out. 